All right, downhill. He's accelerating. Ooh, you can hear him taking off. What's up, everyone? Welcome to a new episode, First Timers. We got myself, Hero. Alvin. Alvin, the superstars of the show. The Today, we're on our tech series, and right here, what do we have here, Alvin? All right, we got the e-bike motor from Ooh. Bafang, the 1,000 watt, the biggest, baddest <laughs> one we could buy from them. Uh, this is the direct drive um, that goes on the... Uh, on your bottom pedals, bracket. on the bottom back bracket of your pedals, yes. And um, yeah, I'm very excited to actually showcase to this to you guys. So this is actually going to be a two-part or two-series uh, uh, video. Uh, one, this video, obviously you're here. We're doing an unboxing of this. Um, if you don't want to see the unboxing or you want to watch this unboxing and then watch us set it up, um, up in the upper right-hand corner or in the description below, actually upper right-hand and description below, um, we will have the setup on the giant NRS, uh, NRS3. So we're going to have that all set up on here. Um, so if you guys want to go see those, definitely go check them out. Um, but yeah, we're going to start this video with Hero unboxing yeah. a new product for a mountain bike exciting exciting times guys Woo! all right guys so as hero gets started with unboxing the buffang motor battery and the accessories uh please keep in mind that the thousand watt motor for california is actually against the law so just keep that in mind when you're buying for your areas um 750 is usually the max for most states but just make sure you double check with your local rules and regulations and laws and all that good stuff um, now the battery is a 52 volt battery 14.5 uh, amp hour battery um, it's called the jumbo shark and that's what hero is opening up right now uh, this guy is actually very 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 heavy uh, it does have keys to lock it to the actual lock the battery to the actual uh, mount so you can actually just make sure it's uh, stuck on there so you know one's like actually coming by and stealing your battery if you do have it locked outside now you do have the actual screen controller in this little box here now that's actually very 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 cool comes with all the screws mounting hardware uh, these rubber uh, grommets to actually go around your handlebars to actually mount the screen as you can kind of see here and the little controller to actually turn the power up and down your assist power that you'd want and actually turn it on so you have your power positive and negative for assist now you do have the battery charger here as well it comes with two extra fuses so if you burn out a fuse you have an extra one there now keep in mind this guy does have a little fan it does get hot so i would try to keep it on concrete or something that's not flammable um, so that's very very important now as far as all the accessories um, you have to keep in mind everything's pretty much nicely uh, packed in this foam uh, carrying case here i did have to buy bottom bracket uh, spacers as well as um, hydraulic uh, sensors hydraulic brake sensors that was something that um, doesn't come with the kit but it does come with standard handlebar uh, or cable brakes um, if you just have cable brakes, but um, right now we do want to change this to an actual hydraulic uh, bike, hydraulic brake bike. Now you do have the little throttle here that looks actually very nice, thumb throttle. Um, there's other companies that do make twist throttles, but right now thumb throttles you just fine. I also uh, didn't really change the the teeth on that particular crank. It's the 46 uh, standard uh, teeth that comes with it, as well as the arms. So I just wanted to just kind of see what the standard uh, would give us before actually changing out, you know, to a smaller or bigger cog for the uh, bottom bracket, you know, for the actual teeth, you know, the, <clears throat> the gear set. So other than that, the motor looks amazing. Um, we got everything out of the packaging and nothing really looks damaged or anything that I can see. Um, everything just looks truly amazing and uh, Hero and I are very excited now just I guess you know one thing that you're probably gonna notice there was no instructions in the box so just keep that in mind guys it's a little bit of a pain but yeah anyway guys hopefully you guys enjoyed that unboxing we'll close it off stay tuned till the end so you can watch us actually test the bike 
That's exciting. Uh, look at this guy. This is this is some weightlifting here. Um, keep in mind we are adding 36 pounds to this. This Bafang is a 1,000 watt motor. Um, I did get the 52 volt battery as I was talking about in the video as we were unboxing. Um, no joke, this is some serious stuff here. Yeah. We are excited. Nine pounds. <sighs> no instructions, by the way. Yeah, there no are instructions. no instructions. No so manual. We're gonna we're gonna figure out how to put this together. Yeah. Um, on the other video. So, like I said, definitely go in the description, check it out there. Um, that's gonna be on our other channel as well, because that's more of a cycling channel. Yeah. Um, but it is. yeah, so this battery, like I said, 52 volts. It's supposed to give you anywhere from I think it was uh, 15 miles to 101 mile range, yeah. depending on the terrain and what you're doing. Yep. So I'm hoping yeah, I can give you guys a kind of a, a interesting idea of what we're gonna be able to do. Um, now this thing's heavy. It's like, uh, but um, when I put it over here, uh, you'll be able to see that it actually um, it actually fits in there pretty good. It's actually pretty amazing. Um, but overall, I am very excited to. Uh, I'm actually very excited to actually try this guy out. Now, one downside I did see on this um, is there's other there's other manufacturers that make uh, one with like a USB charging port. Um, it'd be kind of cool to have that little USB port on here, but. I'm not going to fret about it. I think I might know a way to maybe make it work, but right now we're not worried about no. hooking up a USB port. We just want my legs to be able to keep up with Hero <laughs> on the uphill and um, maybe smoke them on the downhill. So, oh. yeah, I know. So, anyway, guys, um, towards the end of this video, you know, definitely uh, stay tuned because we're going to actually kind of just showcase me riding it around and to Hero trying to keep up. So, yeah, we have a close by hill here that yeah, we're going to try. So, we're going to try it once we get this all set up and you guys will see it. So, it's going to be right now Woo! look at Alvin go he's not even trying all right you guys here's my try at level 9 setting I'm pedaling, I'm pedaling, and I'm accelerating really quickly. Ooh. <laughs> oh man, that was 30. I know it can go faster, I can feel it. Wrong tires and not the right road. Well, that's awesome. You literally don't have to pedal. Here we go, uphill challenge. Me on a single speed. Alvin on his e-bike. Look at him take off. He's gone. <laughs> Whew. Oh, not gonna happen. All right, I'm gonna need some assistance here. Yep. Uh, <laughs> there you go. I'm pedaling too. That's up to, uh, level four. So with the toe strap, I might be able to pull you to climb. Yeah. I mean, we're going. You are definitely assisting me. Yeah, I'm pedaling. Yep. I'm pedaling. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> feel like you're gonna... Nice! Successfully up that hill. Yeah, almost 9 miles an hour. Alright, I'm able to pedal more. I'm pushing Hero's bike uphill because I wanted him to try it and feel the uh, e-bike motor on this hill. It is a crazy hill, but uh, Hero's at the bottom. And I mean, like for me, I think it took me like not even a minute to climb this hill. Um, when we did the mommy bike challenge, <laughs> it was a pain. And wow, I that was really impressive. And the battery still shows full charge. I'm not sure how accurate that is. Ooh, 
12.9 miles per hour. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, no, the lightest gear? Uh, no, I was uh, one from the last. One, okay, so run from the last. You're so right. One from the top. Uh -huh. I didn't want to um, be on that one because I felt like it was the chain line was really bad. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Awesome. Awesome. Mm. And the workout you feel? Yeah. It's different, yeah. It's different. yeah, you, still feel yeah you still feel a workout. It was just weird. It, it, it kind of felt like a what was that a cadence workout almost? Yeah, because like you're your you, yeah your spin. Yeah, yeah, so it feels like you're. But I, again, I, I guess guys, it's not the same workout. I'm not gonna say that it's ever the same workout. Um, but yeah, guys, it actually is a totally different workout. <laughs> you know? Yeah, like you know, you it feels we always, good. We always ask those questions when we see e-bikers. Like, do you actually still work out? They're like, yeah. And you said add liars. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You feel it, yeah. yeah. But but it, it just, you, you don't feel like your your body's taking a beating, if that no, makes sense. It, it's definitely pedal assistance. Yeah. Like you, you feel the assistance. Yeah, you, you feel the assistance, but you, but it feels like, it's like a good workout, guys. It, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, yes, I know you guys are probably going to be in the comments being like, no. Cheater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I still have my road bike. We're still going to go road biking. We're still going to do the climbs. But this is for those those times when we want to go out to some special spots that people say are amazing yeah. and 15 to 20 miles out we're dead yeah. you know this is to get us back to where we want to be so anyway let's uh, yeah. yeah let's we, just we won't be using all our energy for, yeah uh, getting there yeah so it'll be all the downhill fun um without the uh, pain so you know we don't have to pay for it anymore but I'll, i will probably have to bring an extra chain guys because Yo, just in, case. just in case we snap it, I just don't want to snap it. Um, but it's feeling good. All right, downhill. He's accelerating. Ooh, you can hear him taking off. 